today i have an english grammar lesson for you today in this video i am going to share some interesting concept of english grammar first one what are voices second one active and passive voice third one the general rules of active and passive voice okay students i would like to ask you one question what are voices or do you know about the concept no 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 these are not the voices in english grammar voices are the way of how an action of a subject is expressed in relation to its object that means voice is the way when it choose to say something when it choose to say something or express something okay in my schooling i learned this concept or my teachers taught me this concept with this two examples okay first one the guru taught for student second the student was taught by her guru the meaning of the sentences are same but the expressing way are different the way of expression okay the expressing way are different so voice is a way when you choose to say something or express something okay you may choose to be strong direct or concise you may say i am writing a letter this would be your active voice i am writing a letter this is active voice okay if you want to say something in neuter or certain manner or certain way you may say a letter is being written by me a letter is being written by me okay this is your passive voice so look at this examples the guru taught her student this is active voice and the student was taught by her guru this is passive voice now i will explain this concept in detail okay students a verb said to be in active voice the subject acts and the subject is a doer of an action okay that means the subject is the center of an action the subject is actively does something okay so in active voice the subject is the center of the action and the subject is actively the something as a doer of an action look at this example he helped me i saw a puppy he is beating me this are the examples of active voice okay now a verb said to be in passive voice the subject as the receiver of an action the subject is the receiver of an action in active voice the subject is the sender that means the subject is sending something and passive voice the subject is receiving something the subject is receiving something okay then when the subject of the verb is acted upon it is said to be in passive voice when the subject of the verb 
is acted upon except to be an passive. Okay, so an active voice, the subject is a sender or the subject is sending something. And in passive voice, the subject is receiving. That means that is a receiver. It's receiving something. Okay, look at this picture. We are playing paintball. Paintball is being played by us. So, this one is active voice and this one is passive voice. Next example is, we entertain people. People are entertained by us. The first one is an example of active voice and the second one is an example of passive voice.
this is passive voice so here we use is 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 a helping verb is the accelerating verb so this is the second rule in passive voice we are using helping verb so students this is the third rule by stand remember in passive voice is spoken by the neuter or or by stammer here you can see the word by so in passive voice we are using the word by this is the third rule okay look at this example the door was open by him the book is held by rapid here you can see the word by here we can see the word by so this is the third rule so students i am wind up in this class i hope you this class is help you to understand this concept this general rules okay thank you bye